in this tutorial we will be learning about how you can back up your google data into our storex before beginning with this let me just brief you up about what storex is so in today's digital age uh, data privacy and security are paramount and storex is at a forefront of addressing this concern storex offers a groundbreaking decentralized cloud storage platform that redefines how we store protect and control our data unlike traditional cloud services that rely on centralized servers to begin with let us log in into storage account if you don't have storex account you can sign up make sure the credentials which you are providing during login process is similar to the credentials which you have you had provided during the sign up once you log in you will be able to see this interface into your desktop look for the backup option it is available in the side pane click on the backup you will be redirected to backup data to storex the option will be provided to connect to google click on connect when you click on connect you will be asked to provide your passphrase make sure this passphrase which you are entering is known to you once you have provided your passphrase you need to sign in into google account once you have already signed in you'll be asked to verify click on advanced click on go to storex.io now you'll be asked for granting the access for the storex in order to retrieve your data from google right now i am trying to retrieve or backup my data from google through gmail uh, photos and drive so i'll be selecting all at once click on continue once you click on continue you'll be able to see this interface listing you out the gmail photos and drive connect to gmail you will be able to get the list of the mails which is already present in your google account you can also search for the list also search for your email now as we are trying to upload our email we can select it individually or select it through multi selector option available over here you can also view into its detail from this platform as well based on the file size the upload process might take long time but once the upload process is done you will get a a success toaster 
now in order to view into your data that is uploaded in storex you can navigate to dashboard section you will be able to find gmail vault created by default provide the passphrase which you already provided in the earlier stage while connecting to google you can now find the mail which you have uploaded into our storex you can also perform downloading sharing your mail as well as publish if not needed you can also delete it from our storex medium with the options provided now we will be looking about backing up our photos so navigate back to backup section in sidebar click on google's now connect to photos make sure you have albums already listed into your google photos once you have the albums listed into your google photos you will be able to get the same list in your storex as well you can perform the uploading in group as well as individually as i'm trying to perform the upload individually i can also uh, do the same with group as well the same uh, file which is uploaded will not be re-uploaded again as you can see you cannot select the same file again in order to verify whether you have successfully uploaded the data you need to navigate back to the dashboard section or also you can navigate to the wallet section click on google photos over here that is created by itself make sure the passphrase which you provided is the same while you have and provided during the connection of your google account here you can see the image that is uploaded into your storex medium you can perform the downloading sharing also publish it if needed or otherwise you can delete it from the steps provided here go back now let us look over how we can upload or backup the drive data click on drive we can up upload multiple types of data it can be even mp4 exe file as well and other folders click on upload this step will take you some time to upload based on the size of the file or folder once you have uploaded you can navigate back to dashboard otherwise wallet section make sure you refresh the page enter your passphrase uh, you will be able to list the data that is uploaded in the process you can also perform the same sharing downloading 
publishing and deletion as per your convenience so this was the guide of how you can backup your google data into our storex